and welcome to another episode of the Manchester United Career Mode. I'm recording this one straight after the Manchester City game, but of course it will be uploaded the next day on the YouTube channel. Um, I have had to reset my game because it crashed after I saved, of course, because it likes to do that. But up next is a massive game. It's a ridiculously big game. It might be the game that makes or breaks our managerial career at Manchester United, if I'm being completely honest with you, if I'm being 100% transparent. We got Barcelona at Old Trafford, and uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not feeling confident after that Manchester City game. We took on Manchester City once again. Uh, we once again dropped points against our uh, local rivals. It got the better of us every time this season. I got no nothing but respect for them for being able to beat us. But at the same time, I wish we got something against them. Take a look at the Premier League. We are at 6th. I did do this. I did it on the outro of last video. I checked everything over, but because the audio decided to mess itself up, we'll go in and have a look again. This is how the Premier League is looking. We're scoring a lot of goals, but we're also conceding a lot of goals, and it's put us down into 6th of that loss. And the worst thing is Liverpool and Arsenal have games in hand on us, and they won their actual games as well. So 6 points could be the gap between ourselves and 4th spot by the end of this whole proceeding, which is... Just making it more and more difficult for us to try and get that top four spot by the end of the season. Taking a look down the table, uh, the relegation zone at the moment is Crystal Palace, Watford and Norwich. Norwich will most likely go down. I think Watford will probably join them. And it'll be any of Crystal Palace all the way up to Newcastle who could go down as a third team. But it depends how points go. Leicester, crazily in a relegation battle, only two points above the drop. So if we can beat them, we might put them into relegation when we play them at the start of April. But that's a, ta uh, that's a tale for another time. Um, let's focus fully on this now. We have got Barcelona and then we've got Spurs four days later, followed by a week's break before we take on our other rivals in the Premier League, or the big rivals anyway. We take on Liverpool on the 20th. So, without further ado, let's get to the press conference. Hello, good to see you all here. We're going to take questions one at a time. Please be patient. You'll all get a turn. Ty still looks pretty evenly balanced after the ghost draw. The first leg, can we do it? Is what it's asking. It's up for us to perform. Or up to us to perform. I can't read. Barca versus United. How do we plan to approach the game? Uh, focus on the performance. We absolutely need a performance here. Very in and out. I mean, we were we were in very good form before the City game. We won five Premier League games in a row. We held Barcelona to a goalless draw at the New Camp. Um, but apparently we're in and out. We've lost one game. We've gone from very good form to in and out in one loss. It's my night in that shell, okay, and that's guys, just how I judge. Thank you so much for attending. Uh, apologies if you're late might to be get a question in. I promise to start with you next time. There might be a bit of fatigue in the squad, having only played City four days ago, so I'll have to pick smartly here as well, actually. I did notice that we have Scott McTominay completing his potential at this point. He's reaching 84 rated at 25 years of age, which means there's still plenty of space to grow. And I think he's going to be in this team for the foreseeable, possibly even for the entirety of the career mode. Now, what's the quickest one here? I think we might just keep him on the anchor man because it helps his pace. And I know it takes 91 weeks, but it's quicker. So I don't know. But Tom is here for the long term, I think. Unless he absolutely annoys me. Take a look at new stories then, unfortunately, I don't really want to, but we are doing crucial Foden goals, feels my out of defeat. Phil Foden's crucial last goal helped his team seal the winning at Sam Tysman. Yeah. And our winning run comes to an end because of our rivals. But anyway, that's that's in the past, that's in the rear view mirror. Reem Sterling making the team of the week. Bebu grabbing player of the month, we already covered that. But all to play for, Man United versus Barcelona second leg. De Jong and Ronaldo. The tie between Manchester United and FC Barcelona is still evenly poised going into the second leg. Neither team found a way through in their first meeting, so it's up for grabs for both teams this time around. Now, I give Cavani the start. 
in Barcelona. What I'm going to do here, and Rashford's got up a rating as well, I'm going to stick Rashford up top. And there's actually not a lot of fatigue, to be honest. And we'll put Diallo out here. Ronaldo will be on the bench. We'll have what's happening Pogba be the starter because he seems to be our Champions League performer. Uh, Fred will remain. I think the rest of this team will remain as well, except for Laird, who I will switch out for Dalo. But I'm going to just give the captain to Bruno first. If I can actually scroll to the cunt. Now I'm on the wrong page as well. Oh, it's going to take even longer. No, I want to do the... Oh, mate, this is... <sighs> jarring. It's jarring is what it is. Uh, we're going to switch Dalo in here. And we're going to put Tellez in at left back. I think that is the team.
Um, I didn't really see it till too late. Pogba. Oh, I tried to find Bruno Fernandes with that one. It really is just going to be who scores first. First blood in this match surely wins this tie. That's how tight it really is. Wasn't a goal in the first leg at the new camp. Or the camp new. Will there be a goal here at Old Trafford? And if so, when? I mean, there has to be at some point. Even if it goes all the way to penalties. There has to be some result. Something's got to give here. And Rashford may give it. He's got the pace over Pedri. Oh, it's straight at to Stegen. But that's just how dangerous he can be. I think the pace of Rashford will definitely work wonders today, which is why I've put him up front rather than Ronaldo. He's a little bit faster, a little bit sharper. Marcus Rashford to take the throw when he gets some options. Um, I wasn't who I am for at all. I was going way back to the midfield where I think it was um, Fred was, but uh, that's fine. Tellers intercepts quite an easy pass there. Fred to Pogba. We're looking stronger out the gate, I believe. Rashford, poorly tackled. It's going to be a yellow card for Pedri. Who doesn't have a player face? It looks really weird. Well, it's not a good challenge, and quite rightly, he gets a yellow card for that. Caught him on his foot and then followed through. It's way too warm. I can't wait to get this episode done and go outside. Are we lagging? All right, cool. Bruno. Bruno Fernandes stand over, so I'm just going to play it off, I think, rather than do anything special with it. It's to go to Fred, but it's gone to Ahmad. I knew it would go to Ahmad at some level. Can't really do anything here. Try to get space there, try to get to Rashford. Fred did really well to make the space for himself. Find the uh, head of Rashford on that occasion. Like I said, it's going to be the first goal that probably win this Champions League tie. Oh, it's got to be offside against his man Dembele. Ran too early. Aubameyang tried to spot it. But couldn't do it in time. Are we really going to go with 180 minutes of football with no goals? I think something's got to go in at some point, surely. Bruno Fernandes. Pogba. Pogba. There's been a hidden gem in this. Champions League campaign. That's awful from Bruno. Just trying his best to try and get there, but that was just absolutely that was just a terrible pass from Bruno okay. Fernandez there. Frank de Young to get through, but a combination of Teles and Varane stops that enough. Fred onto Pogba. Might make the run there. It's not rhythm. It's Diallo. Whatever. I thought someone might make the run there. It's Diallo who does make that run in that bit of space. Will it be Ahmad? Into Pogba. Oh, what's happening, Pogba? Oh, he's had two bites at the cherry. That's a brilliant double save from Stegen. Oh, second one. I mean, second one evidently at to to stay. I don't know what Pogba's legs done there, but I think it is going to be a goal kick. Unfortunately, he bounced off the Frenchman last. But very good opportunity there for what's happening, Pogba, to give us a lead in this Champions League tie. I really thought he had done, to be honest with you. And now Barcelona maybe looking for their opportunity in this one. Maguire versus Aubameyang, there's a pace battle for the ages. Time to play Bamiang's not as fast as he used to be, to be fair. United Still t tons game. faster than Maguire, though, I would assume. He's not going off the pitch, it hasn't. That's poor from Maguire, but Dalla with brilliant cover. Pogba onto Bruno Fernandes. Rhythm needs to make the run here, and he does. Rashford. Into Rashford. Rashford onto pass. Pogba. The man of the moment in the Champions League. Oh, it could bounce to Diallo. Oh. 
I really thought either Pogba or Diallo would bag that there. Just Stegen doing very well in the between the sticks of Barcelona. I'll give him credit where credit's due. This is a battle to try and get one goal past the Catalan Giants. Bruno towards Rafa Varane. It's cleared as far as Ahmad. Pogba. I don't know if that was a foul, maybe, but apparently the referee said no, it wasn't. Maybe bias. Well, I am biased, but maybe. You know. By well, I don't know how to pronounce it. Well, say it otherwise, other than I'm biased. Maguire defends. Off to Varane. Safe pass there from Harry. Rashford really gasping to me that run, and Pedri's tracking him the whole way. He's trying to take it himself here if he can. Ah, oh, tried to play it into Bruno. Unfortunately, not to occur there. And a poor ball. Pogba reads it brilliantly, and he's been, like I said, very good in the Champions League. Bruno. Defensive Brazilian. Uh, how does that? How does that not make it to Pogba? Please explain to me how that doesn't make it to Pogba. I've tapped it straight to Pogba. Somehow, somebody's got in the way. Now Dembele, space on his right side for Barcelona. Oh, El Bamiyang forces a very good save out of no David De Gea. I really thought that was Barcelona's lead, you know. Would have been totally against the run of play as well. One minute of time before the break. I'm just going to play it around, not and risk anything. Still yet to see a goal three. in this Champions League tie. And it really is the tightest game of football I've ever played on career mode. We should be in the lead. But it's really, really difficult. Bruno and Pogba try to create something for his team. City leading Juventus. I think City are going to go through, unfortunately. If we go through, I really hope we don't come against them. I don't even know if we'll go through at this point. Take a look at the stats at the break. 54 to 46 in terms of possession. Four shots to one. One expected goal to 0 0.9. The only shot Barcelona have had was that shot with the Bamiyang towards the end of the half. And it maybe could have put him ahead. I've got 45 minutes to see if anyone can break the, uh, so the break the deadlock, so to speak, in this one. And if not, we'll have 30 minutes of extra time plus a penalty shootout if the the, the breadlock, I was going to say, the deadlock isn't broken. Bruno to rhythm. Bruno's asking for it back. It's an awful pass from Alanga, though. Sergio Busquets. Ansu Fati, an encouraging move from Barca. Aubameyang trying to feed it through. Barcelona trying every avenue to get this ball across the... The opening goal in this contest. Right, I understand that Barcelona have scored. I understand that. That's fine. What I don't understand is how... Ansu Fati has got ahead of Dallo for this ball. The I went quiet because I thought it was no goal. How does Dallo not... Oh, man. Well, I said it. A really good it's a decent finish from Fati under pressure, to be fair. But I said it as well. The first team to score, probably a team to go through. And Barcelona. I've got the goal. I can't say I'm not disappointed. But what I can say is, there's still plenty of time to go. Ansu well, Fati opens the scoring for the away side here. Well, we always enjoy Rhythm, try to find some way through. Bruno, back up. to Alanga. And Bruno United again, they're just going to push us now for the ball all the time. Excellent Ahmad pressure. in space. Paul Pogba. Pogba, just try to find a way through. Bruno, oh, just like that. The bounce back ability of his team sometimes comes into play. And it's just patience and persistence. And Bruno Fernandes gets us back on level terms. And to stake, and you have to think, probably upset he hasn't done better there. Just 
That's a top class finish. Well, likes passing, playing around the area, trying to find that opening. Rhythm played it through to Bruno. De Stegen should be doing better. But we're back in it, and it's Bruno Fernandes, the captain of the day. So one all, just as quick as Ansu Fati opened the deadlock for Barcelona. Manchester United equalised through Bruno Fernandes. The momentum was on our side anyway. We were already playing better uh, the first half. And we can maybe try and push on now. Rashford finds Bruno out to Alanga. We may be on for something here now. Rashford, it wasn't meant for you. How's it got to how has it even got to Rashford? It was meant for Bruno. Rashford. The only problem is at the moment Barcelona are still going through on away goals. Barcelona will still go through on away goals rule. That's a brilliant save from Ter Stegen this time. Denying Bruno again. Or denying Bruno this time, didn't deny Bruno the first time around. But yes, I have just thought about that. Barcelona still will go through on away goals. We need a goal here. And over comes Bruno the looking for Maguire. So to, the to Stegen. Minutes left for play. And we are in trouble. I've, I'm so glad I remember the away goals will still exist on FIFA. Because that means we really need a push now. Keep going till our tanks are empty. Barcelona were happy just to pass it around, probably. Brilliant by Varane. Maguire wasn't meant for Fred, it was meant for Pogba. And then the touch has decided it's just going to walk off. Lovely. Dalo. Gets ahead of Fatty. Ahmad to Pogba. On to Fred. Mate. Obama Young. Decent position. Maguire gets in the way. Dalo gets it gone. Pogba. Fred to Rashford. Bruno on the run through. Oh, Captain Magnificent. Pogba, I was wanting to try and find a ball to him, but then Bruno made a really good run on the left side. And we are now back in the lead. I say back in the lead, we're never in the lead. But as it stands, we will advance. And we're going to freshen up the team a little bit. We've got 20 minutes to go. Rashford for Ronaldo, I think. In fact, actually, no. Rashford will swap back with Diallo back onto the right. And Diallo will make way for Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo always loves a good game against the Spaniards. And we'll also bring Van der Beek on for Pogba. I think that's going to be it for this game in terms of substitution. So let's just see if we can see it out now. Bruno Fernandes. Has gone from... Playing all right in the Premier League or in the Champions League, I guess. He's been really good in the Premier League, assisting a lot to her. And he scored a bang, a potential goal of the season against um against Watford. But um he's turned up today. And we've got twenty minutes to see out this result. And I know I said whoever scores first would win. But I thought we would score first. The problem is if Barcelona score once, they're back in the lead on the way goals. It was really detrimental we couldn't score it in New Camp. So it's going to be all out defensive performance, I believe, from the boys here now. Oh my god. I say that and Tellez just gives the ball immediately away. Maguire covers up for him, though. I don't really like Tellez on FIFA. To be honest with you, Bruno. Rhythm. Into Ronaldo. Always loves a game against Barcelona, like I said, but I feel like Rashford. I felt Rashford did well. Here's Didn't get a goal, but did well. Donny. Oh, I thought it was ahead there. Not quite. Got hustled a little bit, but to Stegen. Not the most convincing of clearances. Oh, now is Mandan Belly. Clean through. Oh, come on. Who's marking a Bamiyang, man? 
And that's it. Barcelona back ahead on away goals. But who was marking Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang? Whose idea was it, or whose well, it duty was it it's to mark the, the Gabonese what striker the there? Varane peeled off. That's Varane's fault. Varane's peeled off Aubameyang there for whatever reason. He's got an empty net to shoot it into. And Barcelona lead back away, away goals. It's too warm for this. It's, it's just too warm for this. Oh, to mate. Biscuit's coming off. I think that's Emery Chan. Coming onto the pitch. Oh, man. Aubameyang may cruelly put us out of the Champions League here. Rhythm try to do something, try to do anything. Ronaldo, awful touch, but he keeps possession. Van der Beek, Marcus Rashford, back to Van der Beek. Bruno, poor tackle. Van der Beek to Cristiano, back into Donny. So, there's, look how many people have got back, man. Marcus Rashford, oh he can still do it in the Champions League, that's just the patience you have to show in this competition man. Oh my days, I, I, I hate playing like that, I hate playing like I have to just, I have to be patient, I love counter attacking football, I thought I'd taken it too like late with Rashford as well, I thought a touch would mess me up and to stay, I was going to get the save, but thank God, Marcus Rashford. Definitely one of the best players this season, without a shadow of a doubt. And the substitution will occur now. Aubameyang making way for Memphis. <laughs> Memphis, obviously. Memphis, I should say. I completely messed up. Memphis, a former... United player will look for some revenge here against his former club, perhaps. But uh, we are in the lead in this one. Alanga. Ronaldo tries to go inside there, tackled. Fred tries to get a foot on De Jong. Tellez does enough. Fred on to Bruno. Fred. Out to Fred, to into Donny. How long have we got left? Not long. Bruno, rhythm might be on. He is on. Three minutes of added time, Bruno. Rashi, Ronaldo. Straight out to stay again. I believe he's offside anyway. I tried to wait till he got back on. I tried to hold it for as long as I could. He's barely... I mean, the line's not even there. He's onside. Are you kidding me? The shot didn't go in anyway, but that's beside the point. That's the principle of the thing, isn't it, really, at the end of the day. And now Barcelona have one last chance. Florian Neuhaus. Fatty. Well, no, he's let that run out Fatty of dribbles and off the pitch, and I think... Yeah. I don't want to be too early when I say this. In fact, I'm not even going to say it. I don't trust this team enough to say it yet. We're through. Oh my, what a match. What a second leg. After a first leg with a nil-nil draw, we had to claw and fight. It was only when I realised that away goals would put Barcelona through that I had to claw and fight even harder. Bruno Fernandes, captain of the day. Vital goals. But the hero, obviously, scores... Just purely because he scored the winning goals. Marcus Rashford, Ansu Fati, and Pierre Emerick Aubameyang try to put a dampener on our potential qualification to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. But in the end, Rashford, the difference maker. I'm glad I kept him on. I'm glad I subbed off Diallo for Ronaldo rather than Rashford. But if you look at the stats, Somehow they've got more expected goals despite only having three shots. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know, to be honest with you. 58 to 42 in terms of possession. Eight shots to three. 2.9 expected goals to 2.8 in their favour, though. Um, someone please explain. I don't know. But we deserved that, in my opinion. And we got it. We absolutely got it. And the man in the match for me, of course, is Bruno Fernandes. But Ra Rashford might get it purely because he got the winner. 
Oscar is Bruno, who gets the Man of the Match award. 8.3 for the Portuguese Magnifico. Two goals and an 8.3 rating. As for Rashford, a goal and an assist and an 8.2. And then Anthony Alanga, 7.1 and an assist. And of course, Donny always comes on and gets an assist. Uh, the Flying Dutchman, again, only 6.2. He didn't play many minutes, but he got an assist. I can't remember who assisted the Rashford goal, but whoever assisted the Rashford goal deserves a kiss. A big kiss from everyone in the club. As for That's a bit weird, doing it? As for Barcelona, man of the match of them was Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. He did put them back ahead on the Wiggles for a period of time, but we clawed deep and we got it. We pulled it from the depths. Ousmane Dembele, brilliant as well today. 7.4 and 2 assists. Ter Stegen gave it his all in between the sticks as well. And then Ansu Fati with a goal and a 6.9 rating. I'm just trying to take a look at the ratings of this Barcelona team, you know. Look like DC8, Pedri's already 84. I think I did just like Dep the Pie's 85, or Memphis, I should say. He likes to be called Memphis rather than the Pie. Uh, but anyway, that is that. And we are through. In the matter of time, we will find out who our Champions League quarter final opponents will be. And I'm really hoping it ain't Manchester City. Are all the games played now? No. But so far, we know Manchester City, Manchester United, Bayern Munich and Chelsea are all going through. Liverpool crashing out to the German giants. As for these games, it's still one all between Atletico and Ajax. Sevilla lead Bruges 3-0. Inter lead Villarreal 2-0. And Wolfsburg lead Sporting 1-0. So we'll find out in due time who our quarterfinal opponents will be. I can guarantee you this game will just put me against Manchester City just to be an ass. But that is big. Can I ask you a couple of questions? You can ask me all the questions you want, Michael. Right. Headlines will, after today will be all about Fernandez's stunning performance. Definitely. Uh, could have asked some more from him. I thought at points he might get a hat trick as well. But um, it wasn't about personal performances in this one, it was about team performance. And Marcus Rashford. Got us that strike. And I was bloody nervous. Every player did his job today. I can't really answer any of those truthfully, but it's fine. We'll go with that one. Every player did his job. Well, the goalkeeper done his job a bit more, he wouldn't have conceded, but that's beside the point. Wait for the next round. It's about being up for the battle. We've got to get to the final for the board. Thanks, that'll be all for today. But we progress. Now it's back to the Premier League against first place Tottenham Hotspur. Can we ride the momentum of that Barcelona victory and keep the uh, keep the festivities going? Returns from injury that'll probably be Aaron Wambasaka, either him or Jaden Sancho. Luke Shaw has reached his potential, I believe he's 84 rated as well. Keep him involved for a little bit more. I think Jaden Sancho is ready to come back, but we uh we probably won't risk him against Spurs or Liverpool. I think we'll uh keep going with what we've got for those two games and then maybe give him his return against Leicester. I don't want to save you actually, but I've, I've already I'm already on the save menu. I don't want to lose progress either. I want to check what um, the quarterfinals look like after that breathless round of sixteen encounter. Ben there is on twenty now. He scored a couple more for Chelsea, and it separated Ronaldo and Rashford in the top scorers. Last time we took Spurs on, it was a one-all draw. The moment they are 11 points ahead of us, but that is purely because they've just been better than us this season. They haven't even scored that many, but the defence has been world-class, which you don't expect from Spurs. They honestly could go on and win the title. Um, But yeah, let's take a look at the Champions League quarterfinals. Have the play... Ugh, the games haven't been played yet, mate. But we do know four teams that are going through. It's just about who the other four will be. I'm presuming Sevilla and Inter will go through. I'm assuming Atletico and Wolfsburg will probably progress as well. But that is a big result against Barcelona. 
Weight's been lifted off my shoulders a little bit. And uh, we won't be finishing the season a week on Thursday because we advanced. So it'll probably be a week on Friday or a week on Saturday, potentially, depending on how the uploads work out. Um, what was I trying to check? I want to check the news. Fernandez next braces. Man United grab win over Barca. Fernandez got his name on the score sheet for Manchester United in their 3 2 win against Barcelona. We made it for review here. Manchester United have run out as victors in their latest tie in the season's Champions League. In a tense match, which had looked evenly matched on paper, triumphant over a bitterly disappointed Barcelona team 3 2 on aggregate. Oh, honestly, when Aubameyang scored that goal to equalise, I was like, oh, we buggered this, haven't we? But thank God for Marcus Rashford. What a player. I just want to, I don't usually check at this point. I usually check at the end of the season. But he has outperformed magnificently. Him and Ronaldo are joint top with 23 in all competitions. Ronaldo obviously has a lead on assists and he's done it in less appearances. But Rashford, my God, what a season he's having. And what a season a lot of players are having, actually. Ronaldo, 42 contributions in 32 appearances. Bruno with 31 contributions and 35 appearances. Even Donny's popping off with uh, 25 contributions. Pogba doing well. Cavani, when he starts, he uh, seems to contribute as well. And actually, while we're here, we still can't negotiate with him. Hopefully, we can do that for the end of the season. Alanga's been solid. Alanga's actually been better than Sancho this season, but maybe Sancho will settle in a bit better next season and become a mainstay. But that is going to end another episode of the Manchester United career mode. A fantastic, dramatic, emphatic win over Barcelona. Sees us progress to the quarterfinals. And uh, we also know that Manchester City, Bayern and Chelsea will all be progressing. We will see very, very soon who the other teams will be to progress on the other side as well as who we'll face in the quarterfinals. I think we'll find out after we take on Spurs. But for now, that is going to be it for this um, career mode episode. I just want to check who is in the relegation zone as well. I'm actually going to take a screenshot for Fred because he liked this. He liked that Spurs are top. But uh, in the relegation zone currently, Crystal Palace, Watford and Norwich still. But Leicester... Really getting dragged into a relegation battle. They haven't conceded a lot, but they also haven't scored a lot either, and it's messed them up a bit. Maybe that Vardy move. I believe Vardy moved to Real Madrid. Uh, we're actually going to check who's actually banging them in for Leicester because that is concerning, honestly. If they go down... Oh, what? oh, we're lagging. Okay. Well, top score for them at the moment is Lookman, and he's a midfielder. Pats and Dakar's only got three. Jimmy Vardy, um, Jimmy Vardy's disappearance and absence has really been felt by Leicester, to be honest with you. But uh, Leicester may still yet survive. We shall see by the end of the season. We've still got 10 games to go, personally. Some teams have got 9 games, some teams have got 11 games. But anyway, that is going to be it. We'll see you next time when we take on Spurs. Hopefully we can beat top of the table Spurs. But I don't know, honestly. I don't know what I'm expecting. Bye for now.